Welcome. Uh, thank you for joining us. My name is Todd Copeland, and I'm the general manager of the Features Middlesex Business Help Center. Our topic this afternoon is part two of Ask the Retail Pro, um, using live video to build intimate relationships with your customers. Uh, we're once again joined by Barbara Crowhurst, who's the CEO of Retail Makeover. Um, before we get going, I just want to say a couple of brief words about Community Future of Middlesex, a bit of a, an ad here. Um, and here we go. So funded and backed by FedDev Ontario, Community Futures Middlesex is passionate about helping entrepreneurs grow and succeed to strengthen our community. Offering loans, planning and advisory services in workshops like today uh, and much more, we exist to support entrepreneurs in Middlesex County. We understand our communities, our rural culture and values. These insights allow us to view our clients through a different lens and make loan decisions right here at home. Uh, you can trust us for support, through the full life cycle of your business. So 2020, 2021 has been a transformational year for us as well. Um, it's been highlighted by the physical relocation of our offices to the Main Street at Elderton in April, the launch of our, our new website at the end of July, and uh, also that we might note of the increased dependency on technology. So use of virtual collaboration tools like Zoom, survey tools, which we, um, we were fortunate to to have a session uh, last week to talk about those and enhancing your digital and social media presence and and uh, and through you know use of video tools which we'll we'll learn a bit more about today. So COVID pandemic definitely for everyone it's definitely changed uh, the way that we conduct business and expect it to do so uh, to continue in the future. So Barbara Crowhurst is the CEO of Retail Makeover. Barbara is a trusted global retail business coach with extensive experience sharing her expertise and knowledge directly with small to large corporate clients and as a speaker at, at local, regional, provincial, national, and international meetings and events. So Retail Makeover itself is a consultancy. It was established in the late 90s with a focus on assisting independent retail through in-store redesign, web design, um, digital social media tech tools, use of those such as live video. Barbara is engaged in the provision of services for, for some of our Main Street retail clients over this past year, and we're excited to have her join us and share some of her insights this morning. We're here all today to focus in on this topic, using live video to build intimate relationships with your customers. These times are ones of great instability and permanent change opening up new ways and new opportunities for all independents. <clears throat> Business as usual no longer exists, neither should your old social media strategies. Now, some of you are probably saying to yourself, well, I never really had any strategies in my social media, so I've already asked you to go beyond that. Retailers who are aware of the newest channels and ways to meet and engage with customers committed to reinventing the customer experience are succeeding. I promise you, I have the privilege of coaching retailers all over the country and they are succeeding. If you only have time for one new marketing strategy this quarter, I suggest focusing on live video marketing using a very simple tool, Facebook Live. Let's look at the importance of this new marketing challenge. Facebook Lives have become a lifesaver for those retailers who will put in the work and it does take work. It becomes easier and easier, I promise you. The intimacy and immediacy of live video create the sense for your viewers that they are getting a behind the scenes peek at the real you. Think about that. As well as enticing them to stick around and to watch much longer than they would a regular video because of the unpredictability of live events and because of you. Let's look at this issue continued. Opportunities will be there for those who are open to recognizing new ways to stay connected with clients and be quick to adapt 
to the challenges. Independent retailers and independent businesses alike are reinventing the customer experience and it's working. Now I know for sure shoppers wanna shop local. They do, don't make them go somewhere else. So make video marketing really work. At the beginning of last year, all of my webinars started with, and so did the articles that I write, stop making Jeff Bezos so rich. <laughs> and I got some feedback from that. Actually, I got some hate mail from that. So it was very interesting how people reacted to me saying that. How do I get my customers to watch this Facebook Live event? Now I'm starting to get into some of the work that you'll have to do. You have to create a weekly newsletter because I'm going to tell you that you have to do this weekly on a regular basis with a, so the newsletter that goes out via email has to have a detailed shopping event focus. You have to send out the email the day of the live event. I recommend it actually, it makes it uh, more current and share generally what you will be showcasing. Make sure you invite your customers to join you. So many news, because I get a lot of what they call test email newsletters. And as we talk about this subject, inviting people to come and see you on Facebook Live, you would not believe how many of initially my clients and then even people who say, Barb, could you please just look at what I'm doing? They forget to invite the customer to join them. It's just such a simple thing to do. Make sure you always post great photos with brief descriptors that engage the reader because this newsletter, that's exactly what we're trying to do to engage them with an invitation, with great uh, visuals to come and join you, at, you know, later on that day to shop with you. Make sure that even on the newsletter, you continue to try to show a clear path to purchase. Now, what does that mean? A clear path to purchase says you can, you see this lovely item? I'm gonna showcase it later on, tell you a little bit more about it, but let's get the shopping going. You can either go onto my website and purchase this item from me. You can either phone me and we'll talk about it and purchase this item from me. And I can leave it in front of my store. You know, protocols all changing and moving. So the idea of clear path to purchase, which please my fingers crossed, always includes online as a choice, it tells exactly where the protocol is and how they can pick that up from your store. Or in some cases, my clients actually deliver it to clients, okay? Within a certain zone. Use words like buy now, right? So these are just all little tricks that you'll learn. And, and this you'll have this in front of you. You'll go, oh, that's what I should be doing over here as you create your um, newsletter. Last week, I showed you all the different platforms. Well, I didn't all the different, but at least a dozen plus platforms that you can use to create your email newsletters. So the idea of the buy now button is the gain, the call to action. The direct path to purchase is press this button. And yes, it has to be that direct. Our job is to lead our clients to where we need them to go. A lot of your websites, I must tell you, a lot of your websites don't do that. They are so complicated that it is really difficult to get from beginning to end. And that is your responsibility, ladies and gentlemen, to make sure that your, you know, all, all of these flows to product, these ways to purchase your product, are easy and not confusing because if they are, guess what happens? People just jump right off. Let's look at if we want more views, which we do. You're gonna post your Facebook live event 
when it's going to take place. Have people subscribe to the event on your Facebook profile page. You're going to post this information on all of your social media platforms, on your website. And of course, when I put other, you are going to make sure that you do a newsletter that you send via email before each live broadcast. I recommend you host your live video event weekly after dinner hour around seven o'clock. And research shows, they do an awful lot of research, that the best days are Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, so weekdays. What are you gonna do? I put this in as large <laughs> type as I could. Don't forget to welcome the viewer, okay? This is sort of at the beginning of the video. Don't forget to do that. And here, ladies and gentlemen, I wanna bring this close attention. I actually did this slide this morning. You must say once or several times, let's start shopping. I've looked at too many videos that look like they're a gallery performance through a space. Years ago on my bucket list, I'm sure you all have one, I decided I wanted to work for the shopping channel. A busy career, so when did I work for them? Literally at night and towards the late hours into midnight and early morning because I wanted the experience. I had the connections. Now, Lisa, I was never on screen. That wasn't my point. What I did is I rehearsed with the brand representative. I would set up the displays. As a matter of fact, I would do anything just to be in that environment. And what I learned from, from that whole experience is that they reach out across from where they are through the camera and into your living room and say to you, ladies and gentlemen, let's get started. Let's start shopping. And what that does is it immediately gives the people that are watching, why am I watching this? My reason for being here is to shop this show. Okay, you'll never forget that. So calling customers who view your web as, excuse me, you view your video as shoppers is the key, okay? Please don't forget that. So what do I say? What do I show? My gosh. Show and demonstrate your product. Share your expertise. Show off your store. Highlight new products for the season. Showcase what's on promo. Show what just came in. Show things on a theme. The important thing is that you are organized and that you can literally, you see I put et cetera because there's so many different opportunities for you to showcase different things because you're going to be doing this every Thursday where clients at the beginning, I guess we've been doing this for over a year. Thought, oh my gosh. Right. But guess what? One week goes to another week, the next week, and it becomes part of what you do every week. And yes, even when your doors are open and yes, even when the store, I don't, I don't know. I think for the next year, we're going to see some type of protocol um, affecting our businesses in some way. We just can't avoid that. So this is going to become your staple, just your staple. Okay. How do I get my customers to shop? What I show, this is an interesting thing. Using engaging comments full of features and benefits will do the trick. Don't forget why you were there and why you invited your followers or your customers to this event. It is all about shopping. Invite them to start shopping. Remember, you are either directing your customers, remember, I'm repeating this again because it's important, 
shop online or come into the store and shop when that's available to them, or we can arrange a pickup or a drop off. Now, this is something that is surprising me when I'm reviewing test uh, videos, because that's what I do Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday after seven o'clock, you know where Barb Crowhurst is. She's reviewing videos and writing up a brief and sending them to people who ask me and to my clients. So don't forget to share the price. That's very important. And the availability of the item, okay? Here's an interesting question. Do I need to set up a staging area? If you are going to film in one spot, then yes. I recommend your store name be behind you, your branding. Too many people forget about branding. And be mindful of setting up an area that will function properly when you are showing the product. So you can imagine, okay, what needs to happen? You need to be either fed or being able to grab an item and explain it, talk about it, and then move it over through the screen. I, I see some, again, of my clients and we work through all of this. They turn their backs to the camera and put things on shelves. It is not a good idea. Once you start engaging and you've decided you're going to stay in one spot, you have to arrange your staging area so you have as much as you can direct contact with your customer, okay? It's the right thing to do. Let's have a look at, do we need any special equipment? So obviously by now, <laughs> all of us have smartphones by various brands and we can take videos and that is how the live streaming actually happens. You need to optimize your light. And here again, under special equipment, it's called a self ring light. It either can be clipped onto something or you can buy a special stand for it. it gives three different colors of lighting uh, from, I think it's blue, pink, and then white. So it's a huge, broad sense of uh, intensity and color. I'm going to tell you right now, ladies and gentlemen, that pink is your best friend. Okay, blue and white lights in these ring lights, by the way, they're under $30 on Amazon. That doesn't make me happy to have to say that, but I can't find it in any of your stores. But these ring lights are a charm. They are a charm. So you can have a, you can purchase a portable cell phone tripod if you choose and or a steady cam being a good idea. Now, there are some tripods that actually have wheels. I did a little bit of a survey yesterday for you and asked my key clients, um, why is it that they have such a steady feed? Now, it's interesting. Only a few of them actually use the tripod on the wheels because they've chosen to go through the store. I have one gentleman who is the videographer for his wife during her live feeds, and he does it totally freehand. Oh my goodness, that really impressed me. That really did, did for sure. Let's have a look at who do I get to shoot the video. So if you want to show the products in one place, the products in a place throughout your store, then you will need a person to video the event. So the products in its place in its store, you want to go through your store to those products that you have identified that will be in the live show. But if you want to stay in one spot, you can handle it on your own more than likely. Okay, so you just have to test it out and decide what you feel most comfortable with. The thing is that as you're moving through your store, things you have to be con concerned about, you can't, for the most part, turn your back. So you're walking backwards or you're 
uh, moving from one area to the other with just, you know, on your side view, you have to decide whether you're comfortable doing that. Uh, a lot of my clients start in the stationary position in one spot and then move through perhaps feeling more comfortable going through the store. It'll be your choice. Here's the biggest issue. And I can hear some of you say, I've never been on video. Do not feel comfortable doing this. Now, these are real feelings and real situations. I promise you. I'm there regularly with my clients. Some of you will adapt quickly. Others of you will take several weeks to get used to this new medium. But you've got to start doing it. So please start. Don't give up. I, with a smile, say I haven't lost a client yet. But yet what I have found that most clients have their sparkle. There's no way they can be in retail without that. That they really, really realize the opportunity they're given. And nobody has a bigger heart than the retailer who is on the video talking to his clients. There just is not. Bigger motivation than that individual too. I have coached some retailers who then assign this particular role, uh, this hosting role to perhaps an employee. And yes, for the most part, they've done really, really well. But then the owner is really the best one to be there, I promise you. Here's a format. This was it. I just put that in this morning because I'm thinking some of you may really struggle with this. So I invent big deal. I invented this format, but it came up out of a desperation to try to help a gentleman who just said he couldn't even think of doing this. So try an interview format if things are particularly rough for you. So that means that you are where you're going to stand and someone off camera is going to be asking you questions about that product. Now, if all of you remember the Naked Chef in his early days, and you wondered why he had this off cast off camera, he did that very same thing. He had an interviewer, because so the videographer was there, the interviewer was off to his side, and they asked him questions, he answered them, and slowly, 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 he became the personality on screen that he was meant to be. But that was a way he started as well. So please don't be discouraged. Customers love seeing you and what you have to show them. What we're talking about here is sales will grow steadily. It's a big question. Avoid this. How do I avoid the dreaded black bars on either side of the video? You're going to place your smartphone horizontally, not vertically. Okay. How long should the broadcast be? 60 minutes is tops. Do not try to go over that, please. Typically, I find one product takes one to three minutes to showcase. So think about how many you'd like to showcase and then realize that the you should be somewhere in and around 30 minutes is an optimal amount of time. Here, time is less important, but content is very, it's king actually. Member features and benefits, that is what you want because that engages the customer. You know that, you know that in your regular day-to-day -day selling in your store. So features and benefits, how to buy it, Show them, you know, the various easy ways to purchase your product, okay? Here, the rule of thumb is the longer you broadcast, the greater potential for people to stumble onto the, the podcast. So here's an interesting thing, and also your post. Um, typically, I have clients that will immediately, as the next day comes as the next day dawns, they start to tell me how many people have viewed their video because now it's posted. Live, they didn't have that many, but then posted and seeing it on their own 
they start to grow the numbers. And I have clients now that have over 3,000 views, which is really changing um, how products are sold in that store. Should you work with another person live? Yes, you should. If you want to make live the comments area on your Facebook page where the video is, okay? The rest of these comments, remember you're going to be given homework. We're going to make this presentation available to you and you will be able to read everything I have on this slide. But I have to go through this slide with you because I get asked all the time, how do I turn my Facebook fans into sales? Well, number one, you've got to app, you've got to give good content. You have to ask them. And the best way is to get your Facebook live fans to connect with you and start shopping your product is to start a Facebook group. Offer a daily deal. Offer a regular, Barbara, I can't do a daily deal. There's only me and a few other people working on this. We'll offer a regular deal to these lovely members, okay? Now, when you get to this and you read it, understand that the next two slides, the reason I did this was clearly to take you through a stationary format. And here you will be given things that you should be thinking of when, you, when you're doing a stationary format. And then the next slide shows you what you should be thinking about when you're doing um, a moving format through your store. But in both cases, I want to show you, your event is scripted to the best of your ability. The format and choreography, how you will do based on the products you have selected to showcase. Remember what I said, that if you're very nervous about doing this, then go back to the interview format for as long as you're not nervous anymore in front of that video. Because what I've learned is my clients, well, people in general do better when they're asked a question, they give a response. They feel more comfortable in the interview format. So Barb, what are you showcasing tonight? Well, I'm gonna show you lots of wonderful things. They're focused on this, they're focused on that. Well, what's the first, see the thing is it's scripted too. So what's the first thing you're gonna show us? And how much is it? And how do your customers get it? Do you see that? So that interview format could just be the charm for you. The last word, ladies and gentlemen, be mindful of your appearance. Sometimes when I look at test videos to give comments again, because that's part of what I do, is I am shocked how that hasn't been handled. You have to put your best foot forward, okay? And I'm not going to say what that is, but I'm going to be mindful of your appearance, what you're wearing, your hair, your makeup. Yes, gentlemen, and that means for you too, what you're wearing, your hair, and your makeup. <laughs> okay, so I have to tell you this. What if Facebook starts off, stops offering this feature? And you don't know with Facebook, they don't promise you anything, especially when they give it to you for free, right? I wanted to share with you, there's other options. Right now, what we have is we have Zoom as an option. We have Google Meet Web Conference. We have Teams. And yes, believe it or not, Skype is still alive and well. Encourage viewers to like and share the video. Big, big ask, but it works. And here you will read how to boost viewers, increase viewers. I've given you lots of great idea. I need 45 minutes, I realize. <laughs> Other ideas to increase your viewers, you'll have this too as your homework. And we're gonna finish. You're going to analyze your results, and that is every single week. What I'm finding most independent businesses, listen to me, because I work with independent businesses every single day, are not very good at analyzing their results. 
You've got to go back to, let's say if you use MailChimp, you've got to go back to MailChimp analytics and look at the clicks. Where are people going? You have to look at your website. Where are people coming from and where are they going to? And in the conversation, the analyzation of those results and what is happening is going to keep making you go forward successfully. And then we start over because it's a new week. So there I am. And I want to thank you very much for joining me today using live video to build intimate relationships with your customers.